Shelby. Yes, Mr. Nelson. I came early. I wanted to come and take a look around this beautiful church. You're Catholic, Mr. Shelby. I hope that by suggesting we meet in church, it might make us both more cautious with lies and truth. Well, you hope would be forlorn. And ain't no one listening here. You don't believe in God? No. It was the way the Catholics are treated in my country that made me angry. Made me what I became. What made you angry? Slowness in anything. I wanted to have everything already. To work in class Catholic boys. Did they mess with you when you were small? Some man in the shadows. I carried a screwdriver and a blade. And everyone believed I had the power to lay curses. And do you? Yes, I do. First man I killed was a priest. You? A Prussian boy with green eyes. He was already underground. When'd you last kill a man, Mr. Shelby? Four years ago. His name was Thomas Shelby. He drank whiskey. You want me to allow you to enter my city and deal narcotics that'll kill people? You're dealing whiskey, Mr. Nelson. I recently read a report by the Vatican, actually, which said that whiskey disproportionately kills more of our Catholic brothers and sisters, whereas opium is the sedative more often chosen by Protestants and atheists. In return, there are people in England who you think I should meet? Yes. Yes, like mine's. I'm here to buy import licenses for booze. The booze of the blue blood elite. In America, we, we like labels and aspiration. Well, I have a brand of my own vodka and gin. You know, that's your portfolio. I hear Shelby labels are favored by the working class. Indeed, a fact of which I'm very proud. They say you're a... Uh, a poet, too? No. Only read it. There are some people in this country who I'd like to meet. Fascists. Not the ones in boots and black shirts, the ones in tuxedos. I know men who are friends of the cause. I also know men who are enemies of the cause. For many years now, I've been working closely with Winston Churchill in many different capacities. I have his trust. He is opposed to the rise of fascism. You, I believe, see it as inevitable. Well, I can give you men of influence who support your cause. I can also offer you a full report on Churchill's strategies. All this in return for access to South Boston? Alternatively, you can take on Churchill on your own without my intelligence. And I can sell me up into the Jews. You're a brave man, Mr. Shelby. A war hero, I hear. Every war hero I ever met, they're just someone who wanted to get themselves killed. We have a deal, Mr. Nelson. I'll think a great deal about what you've said. <laughs>